D.A. ain't letting up, man. Yes, I said, they not letting up. You know how long they been wanting dirt? And they finally, you know, finally got him, bro. Got up with him, bro. Yes, for years, man, they knew that, you know, he was setting up, setting up, you know, setting, setting people, you know, getting money, bro. He was, he was sending money off to his homies, and he would have them, you know, receive jobs for him. That's what the feds trying to put out on him, bro. They trying to put the feds out on him, bro. Like, honestly, seriously, this situation, it's not looking well. You know, the best thing for Dirk, man, you know, a lot of people been saying, I've been saying in my comments, man, they been saying he need to say somebody's name, bro. You know, OTF Jam, you know, he didn't, he didn't testify against him and, you know, most of the OTF. So, after, you know, feds then released footage of him in that interrogation room, bro. You know, OTF was like, dang, bro, that's what you do. After a man that took care of you for 12 years like he was your father, bro. Honestly, you know, Dirk held his 10 toes for another man. Matter of fact, for a lot of people. I Honestly, I see people in my comments daily saying, you know, oh, if it was me, I would have let I would have went and did the time again and let Dirk take care of me again because I know he's a, he eligible, you know, to make the money and take care of everybody. Now OTF Jam, you know they they they, they had you know this back and forth situation going on, you know, for a minute, for well at least um for a, a year and a half, man. They ain't been they ain't been cool, bro. It it, it just been about. You know, he found out, you know, OTF, he found out OTF Jam was, you know, talking to, he talking to the police. So he knew that Jam was wearing a wire for a minute, for a minute. He knew that he was. That's why they wasn't hanging around each other. And once he found out, you know, he tried to, you know, get rid of, get rid of a lot of stuff. But, you know, not too much you can do, you know, when your homie told. Your homie, your homie gave up everything. Y'all just did a whole, you know, with Quando Rondo. Come on, man. Look, Pab. Come on. He, he said, he said, bro, paid him fifty grand, man. Fifty grand just, just, just to get dirt. I mean, just to get, um, Quando Rondo, man. But you know, instead it was Lil Pab. You know, it was, it was like an accident, in a way. They were, they were, he. Ain't, and they were saying, you know, Brick Baby, Brick Baby was behind this situation. You know, Brick Baby called, um, he, he, he FaceTimed, he FaceTimed Quando Rondo. You know, they all rolling 60s, whatever. You know, they was cool with the whoop. So he had him come to the studio, you know, little pad with him. All, you know, all those people he came down there with, you know, and allegedly, you know, Dirk paid Brick Baby, you know, find him out, get his location, and, you know, understand what type of car he was in. Dirk had his people, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Dirk had his people riding in four white cars. You know, one of them was behind, okay, the truck of Le Pab and Quando Rondo was in. It was, it was front, it was the front, you know, at the light. And a car, it was one car behind the truck which wasn't none of Dirk people. Behind that car, it was Dirk people. And then it was two more cars behind Dirk people. And then Dirk had one of his other homies behind that car. And I think somebody was coming from the side too. So it was a lot of cars, you know, going into rotation of following them for, for, for a minute, man. Following them, actually. You know, quite around them wasn't thinking, you know, this would go on. You know, him in L.A., you know. And especially, you know, what they did, well, what Lil Tim had done with that situation. He didn't think like, okay, you know, this dude not finna do that. You know, he not finna send send nobody. He not finna. He that's the last thing you know. Quando Rondo was thinking of. Okay, if you guys made it to this video, man, don't forget to like and subscribe if you new. You know, 
Drop y'all cash apps, please. Don't forget to drop y'all cash apps, you know, down in the comments down below, man. Yes, I want to know, you know, send, send y'all cash out, man. You know, we're going to bless. We're going we gonna, to everybody try to bless each other. But, man, let's pray. Let's pray for dirt. You know, let's take a take a minute or two. You know, let's pray for him, man. And pray for pray for pray for the whole situation, bro. I hope light come out of this, man, because ain't no way. You know he should he should be be on the edge with you know something like this man because that ain't right that, that that ain't right it don't even look right you know with him being a rapper and you know he done helped so many people out helped the kids out man he, he he got a good heart man I honestly feel like they should you know let up off of him bro honestly he ain't really did nothing you know wrong it was like what what goes to you come to you and what you put out come back to you you know honestly. And that's on both sides. I'm not choosing no side. You know, let me know if y'all Quando Rondo side or Lil Dirt side. Man, I mess with them both, you know, in the middle of They both cool. DA ain't letting up, man. Yes, I said it. They not letting up. You know how long they been wanting Dirt? And they finally, you know, finally got him, bro. Got up with him, bro. Yes, for years, man, they knew that, you know, he was setting up. Setting up, you know, send send people, you know, getting money, bro. He was, he was sending money off to his homies, and he would have them, you know, receive jobs for him. That's what the feds trying to put out on him, bro. They trying to put the feds out on him, bro. Like, honestly, seriously, this situation, it's not looking well. You know, the best thing for Dirk, man. You know, a lot of people been saying. I've been saying in my comments, man. They been saying he need to say somebody's name, bro. You know, OTF Jam, you know, he didn't he didn't testify against him and, you know, most of the OTF. So after, you know, feds then released footage of him in that interrogation room, bro, you know, OTF was like, dang, bro, that's what you do. After a man then took care of you for 12 years like he was your father, bro. Honestly. You know, Dirt held his ten toes for another man. Matter of fact, for a lot of people. I honestly I see people in my comments daily saying, you know, oh, if it was me, I would've let I would have went and did the time again and let Dirt take care of me again because I know he's a he eligible, you know, to make the money and take care of everybody. Now OTF Jam you know, they, 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 they had, you know, this back and forth situation going on, you know, for a minute. For, well, at least um, for a, a year and a half, man. They ain't been, they ain't been cool, bro. It, it, it just been about, you know, he found out, you know, OTF. He found out OTF Jam was, you know, talking to, he talking to the police. So he knew that Jam was wearing a wire for a, for 